Awesome. Well, first off, thanks everyone for joining on this uh, on this Tuesday, um, especially for those in the US joining us after a long weekend. I hope this helped getting the, uh, the rust off of you as you go back into the work week. Uh, welcome to our Live with Astronomer. These are short videos where we tell you how to get something going with Airflow, right? Very developer focused and really focused on things you can do with open source Airflow. Um, today's is a topic that is always top of mind for us, uh, how Airflow plays with Snowflake. And we're really excited to give you a walkthrough of the Snowflake deferrable operator. Um, so with that said, I'll hand it to Kenton, who is one of our lead develop, who's our lead developer advocate uh, to take the mic and run the show. Off to you. Awesome. Thanks, Raj. Yeah, so thanks everybody for joining us today. Um, as Raj said, uh, we're super excited for these Snowflake topics. We know that lots of people use Snowflake um, pretty heavily uh, within their data ecosystem and especially with Airflow. So super excited to do our highlight today on the Snowflake deferrable operator. Um, please throw, uh, for those joining live, throw any questions uh, in the chat. We will um, save a few minutes at the end for Q&A. Otherwise, like you said, we'll keep these very short and developer focused. And this fortunately is going to be a super quick topic in that it's a very easy implementation. So um, something you can take advantage of super quickly. Uh, I'm going to show this through an example. Um, so again, very hands-on coding focus for these live with astronomers. Um, and what I'm going to do is walk through two DAGs, um, one using sort of traditional Snowflake operators, and then we'll show how to implement the deferrable one in an existing DAG. Um, so for some, just a little bit of background, um, for those not familiar, deferrable operators uh, were released in Airflow 2.2. They are designed to release their worker slot while they're waiting for work to happen. So they are ideal for any jobs that are longer running. Um, the benefits of that, uh, of releasing that worker slot are kind of scalability and that you now have uh, your workers open for um, more jobs. You don't have to sit taking up that slot for something that's taking, you know, maybe minutes or even hours. Um, the other uh, benefit is cost saving. So uh, if you have a worker sitting there running while um, the work is actually happening elsewhere, uh, you're just incurring resource uh, resource costs from those standing workers. So um, that's obviously not ideal. Uh, deferrable operators will save you on all of that. And Snowflake is a great place to implement them. Again, lots of people are running queries against Snowflake uh, in their DAGs. And so this can be a huge benefit um, if you switch over. The good news is switching over is super straightforward. So that's what I'm going to show today. So we're going to start with this um, simple snowflake DAG, uh, just to give you a sense of what uh, things looked like before. So in this particular case, uh, I've got a DAG with a couple of snowflake operators. Uh, it's going to create a table and then run a query to insert some data. I have some data quality checks We're running snowflake check operators. And then at the end, I delete the table. Uh, we won't worry too much about most of the content of this DAG. Um, point is sort of the snowflake operators here. But let's go ahead and hop over and look at the code. So this is my simple snowflake DAG. Um, again, I'm not going to pay too much attention to the check operators here, um, but I will go through the code just so you get a, the full sense of what it's like to update to the deferrable operator. So here I'm defining the DAG, um, all my standard sort of DAG level params. And then I have two Snowflake operators for create table and insert query. I have my task group with my Snowflake check operators. That's what's going on here. Um, and then another check uh, that's happening afterwards. And then finally, I have another Snowflake operator for my delete table. So pretty simple DAG here. Um, and what we're going to do is, again, update the DAG to use deferrable operators. Um, uh, to use a deferrable operator, there has to be an operator created uh, for you to um, switch over one. So Snowflake is one where uh, the deferrable operator exists. It won't exist for every operator yet, um, but that's the first thing you want to check. So again, focusing on Snowflake for this example, but you can do this for some other operators as well. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is when you want to defer. So again, deferring is going to come with benefits when uh, you have a potentially long running or longer running task um, that you're going to have savings both in you know, cost and resource utilization from releasing that worker slot. So tasks in Snowflake like 
create table or delete table aren't really going to benefit um, from being deferred because they happen almost instantaneously, right? So anything that's going to take, you know, even less than a minute per se in general in a DAG, um, you're not really going to see much benefit. So you don't really need to worry about those. Um, on the other hand, an insert query uh, is something that could potentially take a lot longer. It depends on the size of your data, but let's say for this example that our data is pretty large. Um, that's something where deferring, so releasing that worker slot while that insert query is happening can have benefits for you. So this is the one that we're going to update. Um, and so the first thing that we're going to do is we have to install the right provider package. So uh, Core Airflow does have a handful of deferrable operators in it, um, but not very many. And most of them are going to come through a separate package called Astronomer Providers. Um, so this is a open source, which is available to everybody. Um, it's a Python package you would install in your Airflow environment, just like any other provider package. Um, it is maintained by Astronomer and it contains deferrable operators for many of the commonly used um, ones, including Snowflake. So you could install the entire package if you wanted to use more of them. I'll show the repo here in a minute. Um, but in this case, in my case, I'm just installing Snowflake. So you need to make sure that that's installed in your environment. Next, I can go ahead and update my DAG. So now I'm going to go to Snowflake Deferred. Um, so this is the same DAG. I've just made one change to, again, make my insert query a deferrable operator. And the only things I have to do in my DAG to uh, implement this is I have to import the package. So again, this is from the astronomer providers importing the Snowflake operator. And then um, the operator is called Snowflake operator async. So from there, after I've implemented the operator, all I have to do is change the name and the task that I want to update um, over to this async version. So all of the deferrable operators, they're also called async operators, those are synonymous. Uh, all of them are designed to be exactly the same functionality um, as their you know, undeferred uh, counterparts, so their traditional counterparts. So you don't have to make any changes to what's happening in the operator, um, to your queries, to the rest of your DAG. All you have to do is swap out that name. So again, super easy and straightforward. So now if we hop back to um, our airflow environment here, look at the snowflake deferred DAG. We look at the graph of this one. Again, you'll see it looks exactly the same as the other one, but you do see the snowflake operator async that's been in, uh, implemented on the insert query. And if I run this DAG, so my insert query in this case actually doesn't take that long because snowflake is super fast. Um, but we should see it go into a deferred state for at least a minute um, or a couple seconds. So there it is. Now it's purple. Um, you can see that's a deferred state, meaning um, Airflow said, okay, this is a deferrable operator. It's taking more than a couple seconds. I'm going to release that worker slot and then I'm going to um, bring it back uh, into running state when that query is completed. So that all happened pretty fast in this case. Um, again, Snowflake is super fast. So inserting a couple thousand rows doesn't take more than a few seconds, but you can imagine that in queries that were gonna take a couple minutes or again, even a couple of hours, um, that's going to save you a lot. And you'll see that in your, uh, in your DAG status, again, with that deferred purple um, color there. And so that's all you have to do. The other thing uh, you need to make sure of when using deferrable operators is that you have a trigger running in your Airflow environment. Um, that's a separate process from your scheduler that manages all of your deferrable operators. So depending on how you run Airflow, um, you may or may not have that already. Um, if you're using the Astro CLI, which is what I'm using here, uh, when you spin up, um, it will automatically start a trigger for you. So you don't have to worry about that. That's also open source. So um, anybody can use that to run Airflow. But if you have Airflow deployed elsewhere, um, you might need to uh, run a command when you start up Airflow to um, use that trigger. And we have a guide that talks you through um, all of those steps if you're interested. Um, but in terms of converting your Snowflake operators um, for any you know, long running queries that you have in Snowflake, that's all you have to do. And you get that um, immediate benefit of, again, cost savings and scalability. So the last thing that I'll point out here um, is the Astronomer Providers repo, which we can throw this link in the chat. 
um, is going to have uh, a bunch of other deferrable operators as well as sort of the documentation on how to install them like I did here. Um, here's the Snowflake one, but there are others. Um, so this will have all the information that you need about this package uh, if you want to check it out and figure out where else you might want to implement it in your DAX. And with that, uh, so we will go ahead and take any questions if there are any for those who have joined us live. Awesome. Kenton, that was the, we're done at 2.15 on the dot, which I think is the most accurate webinar in the history of webinars. So very happy about that. Um, <laughs> I think one question that's come up is, as far as the cost savings go, is that going to save me money on Snowflake or save me money on my airplane infrastructure? Could you just go over that one more time? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, good clarification there. So that's going to save you on your airflow infrastructure, um, not on the set. So everything happening within Snowflake is the same in either case. It's just that if you have a query running um, in Snowflake uh, that's going to take a long time, all of that processing is happening in Snowflake. So all your airflow worker is really doing is sitting there waiting for Snowflake to say, OK, I'm done with my query. Um, so that's the part where your airflow worker doing that waiting is sitting there taking up resources. So that's the part that you don't want. And what the deferrable operator is going to say, okay, release that. We don't need to sit there and wait. Gotcha. Thanks for going over that. Yeah. Another question that's come up is these are in the astronomer GitHub repo. Um, but are these, will these work if I'm not an astronomer customer? Yes, absolutely. So astronomer providers um, are totally open source. Um, they are available to everybody. They can be installed just like you would any other Airflow provider package like the Snowflake provider or yeah, anything else. Awesome. So I think those are the two biggest questions from the chat. I'll give it a minute to see if there's any more. Um, all the code as well as the recording will be sent out to you all afterwards. So feel no need to, um, you know, if you miss something, it will be sent otherwise. And I have dropped a couple of helpful links in the chat. So be on the lookout for those. Um, awesome. Cool. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Kenton, that was amazing. Thank you so much for going through that. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. See you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.